Hello there, I'm Charlene and let me tell you my story. In December 2019, I decided to quit my job to go traveling the world. A few weeks later, I got to live with the most fascinating people I've ever met, the tribes of Ethiopia. And this powerful experience completely shaped my life. Then, I've been seduced by the overlanding lifestyle when I was roaming in Southern Africa. I felt deeply free and wild. Caught by the pandemic in Botswana, I was back to Europe after seven unforgettable months. I knew I left my heart out there. But don't worry, because today I'm so determined to get it back. Oh, and this is Rafiki, a used to a Hilux I bought months ago, and I'm gearing up to go back hitting the African roads. So guys, welcome on board. It all began a year ago when I decided to buy the exact same car I rented when I was in Africa. A Toyota Hilux I called Rafiki, which means friend in Swahili. So I slowly started to work on my truck and I quickly got attached to it. It literally gave me a reason to forget about the current pandemic and to completely focus on the solo expedition. I already had a few ideas of the equipment I would need for my pickup truck, so I started to draw the expedition vehicle of my dreams. I actually drew it so many times before I realized how expensive converting such a truck can be. Let's suppose that you were able every night to dream any dream you wanted to dream. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure. And after several nights, you would say, well, that was pretty great. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which isn't under control. Well, something is going to happen to me that I don't know what it's going to be. Driving to the garage. Then you would get there. more and more adventurous. Yeah. And you would make further and further out gambles as to what you would dream. Finally, you would dream where you are now. Ah, oh, my car! So yeah, that's it. They take care of the
dans trois mois. Hein. Non, non, ça va aller vite. Guys, this is my home. Let's explore inside. You can easily fit two persons and you've got a little bit of space here. Look at this view. Two windows here. I do think we always have to believe in what we truly want and um, and to fight for it. So nothing extraordinary because I just wanted to keep it simple. It's just the way I am. I will drive in Africa and I need a proper 4x4 well equipped. I've got exactly five ammo boxes and two jerry cans over there, one jerry can here and one here. I choose a very simple fridge of 21 liters from Equipaddict. I'm not a cook and I think this one will be enough. I mean, if it's not, my bad. In the cabin, I'm protecting the back seats with a rubber mat because I put two big boxes on it. One for my documents and other stuff and the other one with all my clothes. Since I decided to stick with the essentials for Rafiki, I think I needed skid plates. A snorkel with a cyclonic head, not this one here. <laughs> you know how much I love driving in the dunes. And this guy is going to be one of my best friends. My high lift jack. <laughs> Precious. Yeah, and I hope I won't have to use it. <laughs> my pair of mass tracks hiding underneath the rack. I think Rafiki and I are ready to go now. Obviously, I added and fixed some other things on Rafiki. The front windows are tinted. I've got new headlamps. I'm going to the garage again. And look, you received a new pre-filter, a different one. Hopefully this one is going to work. A few pre-filter, finally. Hope you're ready. That's, that's all done now. And an auxiliary battery, which is working properly. Traffic is washed and cleaned, and I can't wait to leave this solo expedition with my truck. Fight for your dreams, always. They are in your heart for a reason.